You know, he's, uh, he's, he's just taking that step uh, every time we see him out there. You know, we get into a bind in the second where you know, he tries to make perfect pitches and then he gets into hitter's counts, but he just came at him and uh, gets his pop out to the left and then follows up with a strikeout. Um, you know, it very easily could have been through that whole game with a zero. And uh, we didn't make one play that uh, cost him a little bit and, and then his pitch count got him pretty high. And uh, But he deserved... He deserved better uh, but still was very good and just uh, impressed once again we talk about his mix and how he was able to use that breaking ball again and and still make the change up relevant but really did a great job of establishing the fastball and used the breaking ball really smart today how would you describe his fastball today? It looked a little bit different the way he was able to elevate it. Yeah, he did elevate, and he let it eat a couple times, too. I think so on 95 up there, the top of the zone. Um, not always, like, crazy about that because he doesn't need it. He's, he has deception, and, and when he uh, locates 91 because of, of the deception that he has, um, it's it's usually as effective. So the velocity is good, and, and he uses it smart. In the past, he's uh, got into those counts and really tried to rear back and, and let's it's really a non-competitive pitch, but he did a good job of, of keeping himself today and just adding. And that's something I think he, we always talk about he's got more. That's one of the things he has. He's got a little more velocity if he needs it, um, but most of the time he doesn't because he's locating. How impressive was just the offensive performance in general and especially down like that to come back? Yeah, dropping down two and then coming right back and answering right back. Um, that's That's... You know, really, um, what we're seeing from from this group, and uh, if something happens, they just they keep coming. And I love how it j they just add on to just grinding at bats. Uh, that's been the fun part to watch about this offense is uh, they just don't want to stop. They just hand it off to the next guy. They'll take their free base if you give it to them, and the next guy might do some damage. But I mean, you look down the list, MJ uh, with the homer off of a very very tough lefty and a tough situation, um, and then gets another two out RBI later in the day or later in the game Bobby having a, a good day a big base hit getting something going with his legs on the infield hit and Salvi a huge day with four knocks and ribbies and all the way to Doge needed a couple today it was good that he got to add in and Massey with a big hit that was a, a tough situation for him to come through uh, when we needed him right there and Kyle Isabel um, the same deal we get in a spot you got to go towards the middle of the field put a ball in play after Massey laid down a great bunt um, just that one guy right after the other, just relentless. That's. Hope they put that one in the memory bank. After you guys lose a lead in the top of the six, what kind of chatter are you hearing in the dugout after that? I mean, it seems like they were able to, you know, obviously come right back. Yeah, you know, um, we've just been playing well, so there's always chatter. I mean, they they just believe in themselves right now, so it's just uh, it doesn't phase. Uh, I think they just know. All right, we got we got to make something happen. Um, it's just uh, there's a vibe in there, and, and that usually comes along with playing better baseball and, and stacking up some wins when you need them, and we need them. And so they, uh, they're in this pl uh, spot right now where they, they trust each other um, and that next man up thing, I'm going to get my job done, you're going to get yours done, and then, and then they celebrate. They, they celebrate pretty hard too. I love it. Mm -hmm.